everyone, it's Dana, and I'm back with another fun DIY craft that I'm actually going to put together as another take and make kit. And this is, if you can see, it is going to be a book leaf garland kit. And I'm going to show you how to make them, and I'm going to put together some kits so you can make your own at home. All you'll need to provide is glue. It can be um, a glue stick a hot glue gun, which I like to use just because it's faster, or it can be um, Elmer's glue. Just remember that it will take a little longer for these things to dry. So the first thing I did was I punched out some book pages. If you're working on this with children and you want to give them some additional um, you know, strengthening exercises, you can actually have them cut out leaf shapes that you print off online or you can trace it out on newspaper or anything like that just to let them have the experience of cutting and you know working the finger finger muscles that way but for this one since i was doing so many kits and that's not a skill i need to work on i just purchased an um a punch at online um, they're pretty expensive so that's why i figured it would be a good idea to get a heavy use project out of this punch and there are many different shapes and sizes you can use. I did um, three and three quarters for the big leaf, and then I went down all the way to one inch. So you'll see in front of me, I have a ton of colored construction paper, book pages. I'm using all of the pages that were left over from the Reader's Digest kits, if some of you remember doing that project. And I also am using Paper bags, if you have any lunch bags at your house, that would be a great way to repurpose and recycle them. Um, I have a lot of stickers that I used to use from scrapbooking, um, so I'll include some of these in the kits so that you can you know, make them as fancy and colorful as you want. But what I actually found that I'm obsessed with are these fun little sparkle stickers and it was 278 for $5 at Target. I'm sure you can find similar ones at you know, Walmart or other discount stores, and they just have a bunch of fun, harvest, fall, pumpkin, leaf, colorful, glittery, glittery shapes to use. And then I'm using twine as well. I get a three pack at the Dollar Tree for $1. So, you know, you'll need your own scissors if you want to measure it out. You can even use Mod Podge if you want, if you have any left over from previous crafts. And this is a fun craft to do if you already have clothes pins or even mini clothes pins. Um, I didn't have enough for this craft, so you know, we're just gonna go ahead and hot glue it to the, to the leaf and that will keep it up. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'm going to pick out 12 pieces of the big leaf the three and three quarter punch and uh, there's three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and you can do them all the same background color you can mix and match you don't even have to use these fall colors you can use whatever fun colors you like um, the important thing is that you made it yourself, and I'll go ahead and try and clean up my mess here. This is where you're going to need to measure out where you want your garland to go so you can see how long you want your twine to be. I did not do that. I just kind of guessed at what I think, where I think it's going to go and how it's going to work. So if you remember from our DIY, um, the macrame plant, hanging plant, planters. We're going to use the same type of loop. So you're going to take a piece, fold it over, and then knot it through itself. And that's going to give us a loop on the end so that we can hang it. And I actually like to hang things on my walls with either command strips or um, little, little sewing pins. They leave very, very tiny marks so you don't have to fill in holes. And, um, you know, they're a lot cheaper than the command strips. So that's just what I like to do. And then I'm going to use a bunch of different coordinating and contrasting colors of the second leaf. So 
So I'll go ahead and get started and I'm just gonna place it down. I'm using hot glue for the sake of time and because we just have a lot of it here at the library and it's pretty, pretty quick to use. And since I use hot glue, I always use something else to push the hot glue down so other than my finger. Learned that the hard way one too many times. And then once you have it glued on, you can either measure it out or you can just eyeball it, um, you know, whatever your design and decor idea is, you know, go with that. So I'm going to go ahead and keep gluing and we'll come back for layer number two. I'm back and I have finished hot gluing all of my leaves, leaves to my twine. So now I'm going to flip it over and use the side that is not does not have hot glue on it, and I will begin to glue on um, another leaf in a coordinate, different or coordinating color just for some visual interest. And I'm going to keep going on down the line, and I'm going to come back in a few minutes and show you what the final product looks like. Hello everyone, I'm back, and I have attached my second layer of leaves and my stickers, um, my fun glittery things. I also, if you see, I glued another piece on the back. I thought that way if they get turned around in the window or wherever you're gonna hang them, they still look really nice. It's up to you if you wanna make them two-sided. Um, but I just thought, I have the extra paper and the glue, so why not make it look a little nice and polished. So you can see here, they are all ready to be hung on the wall or in the window and I'm going to put together a bunch of kits. They will be available at the Holds pickup desk after this video airs and I hope you check one out and you know make some fall leaf garlands and let me know what you think. It, you're always welcome to post your pictures on the library's Facebook page and share what you've done with us on Instagram. If you need any inspiration um, we have plenty of crafting books and especially fall crafting books and even some fall cookbooks. So come to the library and check some stuff out and thanks for watching. Have a great week.